Tiny Room for Elephants is one of the best arts and music scene here in Philadelphia. But of course, COVID unfortunately impacted them. They had to close for two years, but they are back and better than ever. Oh man, I'm, I'm honestly so excited. It's like a, like a power pack for me, like a, like a, you know. You get to see something that you don't normally see every day. I'm absolutely excited. I didn't even let you finish your question. I growled a little bit, you know what I mean? I thumped my chest. Just the, the ability to harness that collective energy of all those people in the same room. The vibe is big. It's a big vibe. And there's so many talented people, it just always makes you step your game up. Like, you know you have to stay sharp and you don't want to get embarrassed. Everybody's dope, you know? <laughs> there are 43 visual artists. My name is Uluwa Femi. I'm a rhythmist, a uh, prince of patterns. My name is Priscilla Bell Lamberti. I am a muralist. I go by the artist name Lace in the Moon, and I am a crochet artist. My name is Nomad. I'm an artist. I'm Ben Howard, and I'm a painter. I'm Tim McFarlane, I'm a painter. Tiny Room for Elephants is a network of creatives, and when I say creatives, I'm talking about visual artists, musicians, healing artists, performing artists, and really what we do is we document culture and we really bring everyone together to create awesome experiences. This is an awesome chance for people to like almost be tapped into the vein of, of how this culture gets created. So yeah, yeah, this summer we got the arts, the Tiny Room for Elephants Arts and Music Festival coming. What is the Arts Music Festival? It is a three week takeover of whatever space we're in. We're taking over Cherry Street Pier for three weeks. That looks like coming in for three days, we have to move in everything to create the room. We build it, we light it, and then we invite the artists to come in. Everyone's just feeding off each other at different times and different vibes. There's no themes. You know, you can come in and, and, and try something you've been thinking about for years and have the support of the whole creative community around you. Musicians and producers are invited to come in as well to create the soundtrack for the room. Then at the end of the 10 days, they stop painting and we set up for the actual fun part, the festival. When I first was introduced to Tiny Room, you know, there was this like North Philly warehouse. It was very smoky, mysterious. So Tiny Room for Elephants has been around since 2014. We ventured out in 2016 to make it more public. The, the first time I experienced the Tiny Room Festival was, uh, I think it was 2018, uh, Bach. I remember stepping into the gymnasium like, what is this? Um, I, I need this. 2018 we moved over to Bach, and that opened the door for us to get into Cherry Street Pier. And 2019 was our biggest year yet. We saw um, throughout the month over 25,000 people. Throughout the actual festival weekend, we saw over 13,000 people, and it was truly a festival. It's really cool to have places that showcase kind of the other artists, the people who don't fit into the molds of where you would typically see art. We have so much creativity here, so I like just being a part of uh, this thing that's just building and growing every year. This is like a very much powered by Philly, um, even if people, some of the people involved might not be from Philly, but like it's very much powered by Philly artists and Philly culture. Well, the Tiny Room for Elephants Arts and Music Festival kicks off in July, and I am more than positive that Mike Jarek and I are going to be down there having some fun.